In a world where technology advances faster than we can comprehend, a new threat looms on the horizon. Short-term rental investors, once the kings of the hospitality industry, are about to face a cataclysmic shift. The rise of artificial intelligence threatens to replace them, and there's little they can do to stop it. Picture this, a world where every aspect of the guest experience is meticulously curated by AI. From the moment you book your stay to the moment you check out, every detail is taken care of by a machine. No more dealing with human hosts or property managers. No more worrying about the quality of your accommodations. AI will make sure everything is perfect. This is not science fiction. This is the reality we are facing. The future of the hospitality industry is being rewritten as we speak, and AI is holding the pen. Will we adapt and evolve, or will we be left behind? Only time will tell, but one thing is certain. The age of the short-term rental investor is coming to an end, and the machines are taking over. And that is what AI wrote whenever I asked it, can you write an apocalyptic YouTube intro about how AI is going to replace short-term rental investors? <laughs> really good. Really, really good. All right, so as you could probably guess, today we are talking about the idea or the concepts of how to use AI, artificial intelligence, to replace yourself in your Airbnb business. Now, on this channel, you've seen me do multiple videos about using automations, such as messaging automations, dynamic pricing, and everything in between to streamline your workflow, but I thought it was actually very appropriate to make another video that goes one level deeper, right? Because even though you can argue that automations are AI in some capacity, we're in this new era, this new revolution of really advanced AI. I mean, it's really crazy. I think the fact that I'm barely making a video about it now makes me feel a little old and like not with it. But really, I wanted to do this video like a month ago, and in the last month, I just feel like the entire landscape has changed dramatically. But specifically, I think in the last six months, it's borderline creepy how much evolution has happened in the artificial intelligence landscape. So I did a lot of research, and I really deep dived, dove? Do you deep dove? If I deep dove into it. That's, see, that sounds weird. I did a deep dive into this topic about what are ways to make my life and my workflow and my short-term rental business more efficient. Because truthfully, I felt like I sort of had it figured out with the automations that I already had in place. But by the end of this video, you should have around six new ideas for how to enhance your short-term rental business, hopefully saving you time and ultimately making you more money because you saved time and thus you used more time to make the money. And because you're making more money, you can, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. You catch my drift. Let's get into it. And, and by the way, I went to two conferences in the last week, just chopping it up with all my friends. If we met, say hello in the comments, but I've lost my voice. It's actually very irresponsible for me as a content creator that relies on my voice for a living to be talking right now and using my voice and making it go away. But Caleb's like, bro, if you don't give me a video by tomorrow, I will end you. And so the dude abides. All right, coming in at number one, this is in no particular order, but I really like this one specifically because I think it's gonna be pivotal to most businesses and it's Guest Guru. So I've got a couple students in Host Camp that are using Guest Guru right now, and it's effectively a chat bot or a messaging bot, which I think is a, is a really big oversimplification of what it really is. I think the purpose of Guest Guru is to be supplementary to your automated messaging that's already in place, but it's basically covering you for whenever your automated messages can't quite keep up with all of the in-between messages that you might get from guests, okay? So I'll give you an example here. If you're like me, I use Guest for Host, and I automate the majority of my messages, right? Okay, so whenever someone books a stay at my property, Property, they get an automated message. Whenever someone checks in, they get an automated message. The day after someone checks in, they get an automated message. The day before they check out, they get an automated message. And three or four days after they check out, they get another automated message that says, hey, please leave us a five star review. Right, so that's like five or six messages that I just rattled off there. The problem is that that's all I can really automate on that front with most property management systems. But what happens whenever a guest reaches out and says, hey Rob, uh, just checked into the place. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. Do you have any dank? pizza places in the area I can go eat at, right? I can't automate a response to that because I didn't know that that guest was gonna ask me that question and I don't really get that question very often, right? So I don't have that particular message saved in my bank. Now here's where Guest Guru pops in. It will actually respond to all of the messages that your guests send you on your behalf. It will use AI machines and power to basically write up a response and the cool thing is you get to approve the response beforehand. So if someone asked me for a really great pizza place or where the nearest Chipotle is, Guest Guru will go in 
phone and look it up, write up a response that says, hey, the nearest Chipotle is 2.3 miles away. And it can even throw in the address for you and say, hey, oh, by the way, the nearest pizza place is two miles away. Hope you find what you're looking for. Let me know how it goes. All right, whatever. And it takes out all of the time that you would typically take to research. Now, I already know what you're thinking. What happens if the AI is super racist and sexist and says really crazy things that are gonna get me canceled? So before Guest Guru actually sends that message out, they'll send you a message that says, hey, Rob, here's the response that we sent. Are we okay to send it? And you hit yes or no. And if you hit yes, it sends it to the guest for you. So it's really cool because you don't have to write it, but you can still sort of direct and manage the robots, if you will, for however long they'll let us do so. Now, a lot of you are probably thinking, well, I've got a guidebook for that, so my guests never ask me those types of questions anyways. But here's where it starts getting really interesting. Guest Guru can actually formulate the responses to a disgruntled guest that's at your place. So if you have a person that comes in and they're like, hey, we just checked in, uh, it's not as clean as I like, uh, the clouds are in the sky covering the sun and the sunset's not even showing, like, you know, I, I paid a lot of money for this thing. Whatever that person can think of, I've kind of seen it all at this point. As a good host, we usually have to hear that person out and say, hey, I'm so sorry about that. How can I fix it? Blah, blah, blah. And you have to be diplomatic. And the art of being diplomatic and very tactful in your messages can take a long time and can take a lot of brain power and can be a very stressful thing. A lot of the times this stuff can be squashed with a really nice heartfelt message that, you know, where you're apologizing. The thing is, it still takes time for you to write that message. And where Guest Guru pops in is they'll write that message for you and then you approve it if you like it. So what might take you five to 10 minutes to formulate a heartfelt response can take something like Guest Guru seconds to do that for you and you just approve it. Or if you don't approve it, you can edit it and then send it off to your guest. So if you only have one property, this may not be something that you're gonna utilize all that often in a month. But if you have 35 properties like me, it's something that you're dealing with almost every single day for whatever reason. So this is why I think Guest Guru will be pivotal because like I said, you can automate your messages, but you can't automate the in-between up until now. And now there are other platforms that do this as well. I believe Yada AI does this, and I think that Hospitable is also working on an option like this too. So there are a few out there, and I think we'll see dozens of these come out in the next year, but I'm just putting this at the top of your radar. If you're trying to save time on your communications, look into these types of services. The next one that's on the list here is Midjourney. Basically, Midjourney is AI that generates really high quality images, like really, really amazing illustrated graphical images that honestly, it blows my mind that AI is making this. And so I was going back and forth with a few people because I'm really interested in this idea of what you could do with this service. And a few of the people said that it's not really going to be applicable to most hosts, right? Because usually with your Airbnb, you're photographing your space and you want it to be true to your space, right? You don't want to create an AI generated space that's not yours. That's not actually what I think the best application is for mid journey. I think personally, the best application will be for those of you that are needing help conceptualizing a really cool tiny home, a really cool unique experience, right? If you've been following along, you know that I'm a huge fan of unique, one-of-a-kind, Instagrammable experiences. And so a lot of you will go to an architect or a drafts person and say, hey, I want to build a tiny house. And then they're going to ask you, what do you want it to look like? And you're going to be stumped. A lot of you come to me regularly and say, hey, Rob, I want to build a tiny house. How do you design it? Where do you start? I have no idea. Well, basically now with a little imagination and the correct prompt, you can now let AI come up with really cool concepts for you. I actually wanted to show you really fast a couple of the AI generated images that my host campers created that inspired some of the builds that they're doing. So one of my students wants to build a super premium glass spaceshipy tree house and he had mid journey create these images that you see. And obviously when you look at this, it's pretty fantastic, right? Like there's no way that you, me, him could have ever come up with this particular concept without the help of an architect or a drafts person, right? But AI spit this out in like seconds. It's crazy. Okay, and then I had another student that wanted to build A-frames and he just wanted to like get his imagination going on what the design would be. And so he popped it into Midjourney and boom. Look at this, we got like some really cool, crazy, quirky A-frames. That's like, it's an A-frame and then it goes down. It's a little spaceshipy looking too. I guess maybe there's a theme here with Midjourney. But as you can start to see here, whether or not you're gonna build these specific A-frames that Midjourney pops out, it can at least get you feeling inspired, right? You can take these images, hand them over to an architect and say, hey, I want something super cool, premium, wacky, weird, unique, just like these photos. And now you can give your team a set of starting points, which I think is really cool. Hey, Rob Mob, this is Evelyn. Rob's decided to take a quick break to go eat a Chipotle burrito and has asked that I take over. Okay, number three, Synthesia. 
This one I think is actually gonna be monumental for a lot of different industries, specifically the education and training space, because now instead of you having to perform for camera and get everything right and read off of a teleprompter, you can actually have an AI do it for you, which is like kind of weird for the future of content creators. But where I think the application for Synthesia for Airbnb hosts is if you wanna create more personalized videos about your property and basically have somewhat of a video guidebook, if that makes sense. So imagine this, you buy an Airbnb property, you go in, when you're moving in, you get a horizontal video of your entire space, and then you have an avatar like Evelyn here in the bottom right or left hand corner of that video that explains every single minute and very nuanced quirk and detail about your property, right? So if you do a kitchen tour, Evelyn can say, all right, in that far left corner, that's where we keep the spoons, the wine glasses are to the top right, you can find the batteries in here as you head upstairs and blah, blah, blah. So in short, you can write a script for AI to completely break down and tour your property, and then you can send it to your guests before they check in so that they can watch a five to 10 minute video, know everything there is to know about your specific property, and thus save you from extra communications that you don't need to be doing because of AI and computers. And when those extra communications do come in, you can have something like Guest Guru pop in and answer those questions for you. So hopefully now you can start to see the interconnectivity of how AI can work with each other and basically cut you out of the process. But not entirely, just enough to where, you know, yeah, I don't know. This is getting weird because I, yeah, I don't know, honestly. <laughs> I mean, look, I don't think we can ever completely cut ourselves out of this industry and I don't think that we should, but I do think that we should use these tools to enhance our services and make our businesses more efficient. And while I never really thought of using a service like Synthesia to make video tours of my property, because I feel like it's redundant, I'm starting to realize now as I scale my portfolio that redundancy is actually the key to efficiency in, the, in a sense, where you have so many redundant processes and practices and systems in place that will solve so many problems for your guests so that they never reach out to you for problems that they're having at your property because you've already got it all solved through redundancy. And it's a whole thing and I'm making like 15, 20 different guides and spreadsheets and I'm putting together like a product to help you systemize your short-term rentals. This is a total aside, didn't mean to like plug this right now. But yeah, I, I just think that AI is gonna be so integral for helping you establish processes that make you an extremely efficient operator. Really fast, quick break from the video to say that I was going through this list of things and it's probably a lot for you to keep up with and now you're probably taking notes on how to use it. So I've actually compiled it into this beautiful handy dandy little PDF for your beautiful little eyeballs. I'll leave it in a link in the description down below. Click the link down below and then you'll have access to all of the tools that we talked about today and then some. All right, now back to the video. Okay, so this one is really interesting and there are a lot of versions of this one, but the one that came across my desk was Reimagine. And basically what Reimagine does is it allows you to upload an image of an interior bedroom or a living room, and it will basically, it'll give you design templates and show you what your rooms could look like. Now the crazy part about this is that it's not just the interior of your home, it can also do renderings for exterior as well. To give you an example of what this could look like, okay? Okay, you're gonna go start designing, you're gonna upload an image, okay? So we're gonna drag an image in here, it's got this, this property that I'm actually looking to buy right now. And one of the bummers about this property is that the front yard is kind of ugly. So let's see what Reimagine will do to it. We'll do continue, let that upload. And let's see where it takes us. Validating image. So it's saying like, hey, you're a good image, buddy. Don't worry, don't, 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 don't let the world bring you down. You're strong, you got this. Okay, here we go. So it says manually control, control the design process. You can get pretty granular with the feedback that you're giving it, or you can say, surprise me. Generate designs with just a click. Let's see. Surprise me. For whatever it's gonna show us, took less than a minute. I mean, probably about 15, 20 seconds. Holy crap, this is really good. So this is the original. This is what it looked like when I uploaded it. And that's what it would look like with amazing landscaping uh, in front of it, which totally changes the vibe of this house. Now, obviously the graphics could be finessed a little bit, but again, this is something that you hand over to a landscaper or a landscape architect, right? And you say, hey, I want something like this. Can you give me this? So again, this is what it looked like. And through reimagine, it's reimagined, if you will. No pun intended. Well, actually pun has, is intended. What do it look like? Very cool. So now let's go back. Now, I guess let's get into some of these. Uploaded image is of garden landscaping, design theme. Oh, you can actually choose the design theme. So why don't we do like garden landscaping with gravel landscaping, enter pavement slash plant preference, concrete pavers, and natural, let's, let's say natural vegetation. Generate new design, okay? So we're gonna give it another go. We're gonna see where it takes us. 
Wow, this one took over 45 seconds. Can you believe this? And this is where it's gonna be. People are gonna be so entitled to AI working fast that when it doesn't work fast, they're gonna be so they're gonna be so mad. Holy moly. Okay, let's check this out. So I, I went in and I did some of the advanced customizations and here's what it spit out to me. I mean, this is really cool. I wanted pavers. I asked for pavers and natural vegetation. This is what it gave me. That would be an amazing landscape compared to this, right? So it at least gives me a little bit of imagination here. Also super cool. I'm down, I dig it. But at least it's getting the creative juices flowing. And then this is, yeah, if you wanna just go full native landscape with a little bit of sod. So big fan, big fan of what this can do on the outside. I'm kind of curious though, Let's see what it would do if I put an interior photo. I'm skeptical, but we'll see. Okay, continue. It's validating the image again, telling it that it's a strong independent image. So it's gonna reimagine this space is my guess. I don't know if it works better if the room is empty or not, but let's say surprise me and let's say, let, let's see where it takes me. Whoa, that is good. I was skeptical. This is good. All right, so this is what it looked like before. Arguably looks pretty good. Had no issues with this room. But with AI, here's what this room could look like. Not bad, that really does change that space a lot, right? There'd be some, some money dropped on the remodel, but this is amazing. Here's another variation of what it could look like. Now, I, th I think it couldn't read the back of it. The back of it was a dining table, but I think it read it as a kitchen. So it redesigned the kitchen for you. But if you're not good at interior design and you just need ideas, this software, you can literally drop every single room in this, have it produce like a cohesive mood board, and then just go and find furniture that looks like this. It's actually pretty, Game recognized game. Game recognized game. That's a good one, man. I had only seen people use this. I hadn't used it myself. And now tinkering around with it, like this is definitely something that I'll use to create a mood board that I'll then go and hand over to a designer like my wife and then let her go out and actually blow out the entire design. So that's Reimagine. There's probably a lot more to this specific tool, but so far, very cool. Okay, this next one, I'm gonna move through kind of quickly because I wanna do a whole video about this, but it's actually just using ChatGPT, which is like the, the groundbreaking achievement of the world right now, right? Right? Chat GPT-4 is what's really blowing people's minds and it's writing capabilities. And it's actually something that we're using a lot to influence the copywriting across all of my systems. Now here's a really big struggle with this is that I am a trained copywriter. That's what I did in advertising for 10 years. So when you see something like Chat GPT comes along, I think a lot of people's first instinct is to be like, whoa, yeah, we don't wanna do that, that's stupid. <laughs> because they're scared it's gonna replace their jobs. I come from the mindset that it will replace the jobs of the people that don't adapt. I'm adapting and I'm gonna use this thing to its fullest ability. So the way that you can actually incorporate ChatGPT into your short-term rental business, is you can use it to literally write everything from your check-in messages to your listing titles to your listing descriptions. And it's actually pretty good. Now the video that I'm talking about that I'm gonna make is me versus AI, who wrote it better? <laughs> I feel like I said that so weird. Who wrote it better? Is that an interesting video? Let me know in the comments down below and maybe your boy will actually go back into the copywriting trenches and write again. But I wanna show you how this works. So let's start with a couple things. Let's say we'll take my, my tiny house in Joshua Tree, okay? I'm gonna copy the title and one of the things to note, and this is really the most important skill you can learn with AI, is the prompts that you feed AI really directly correlate with how good the output is, right? So if you're bad at writing prompts, you're not gonna get the best content from AI. But if you really work to hone the skill of asking AI exactly and very specifically what you want, it usually performs pretty well. Okay, write a 50 character or less title for my tiny home Airbnb in Joshua Tree, California. It's 300 square feet, five minutes from the national park. It has a hot tub. Here is my previous title for reference. All right, let's see what it pops up. Oh, it already did it. Joshua Tree Hot Tub Hideaway. Okay, so here's where you start getting more specific. Can you give me 10 more options utilizing as much of the character count as possible? Okay, yeah, so, so far, I would say my copywriting is better. My title is Hop into the Joshua Tree Airbnb 300 square foot tiny home. But here's what ChatGPT spit out. Cozy 300 square foot Joshua Tree hot tub home, okay? Not the greatest. Um, let's see, Joshua Tree gem with hot tub. Five minutes to Joshua Tree Park hot tub getaway. All right, they're really using the hot tub in there. Okay, so here's where we start refining it even further. Can you give me more options that incorporate that it's a tiny house? Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Tiny house, huge views, Joshua Tree hot tub. All right, I'm gonna refine this one more time 
and I'm gonna see if maybe this helps. Will you recreate these titles with the context that it's for a Airbnb listing? Okay, now let's see. So let me read a couple more of these. Small but mighty, Joshua Tree Hot Tub Hideaway. I like that. You know, not exactly the kind of title I typically write, but it's not bad. Small Space, Big Relaxation, Joshua Tree Hot Tub. Minimalist Dream, Joshua Tree Hot Tub Tiny House. Yeah, it's not perfect, and if I had 30 minutes, I'd probably sit here and mess with it more, but it will at least give you ideas and words that you can use to incorporate into your title. Now I'm gonna try one more thing here. I'm gonna give it the copy from the space section of my listing. Can you punch up the following copy and make it funnier. It says, here's a punchier version of your copy. Welcome to our tiny but mighty Joshua Tree home. It's like a TARDIS, bigger on the inside. I don't get that. Am I dumb? <laughs> I don't know. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me! With an open and airy layout, our 300 square foot space can sleep up to four people, if you're okay with getting cozy, that is. Upstairs, we've got a memory foam bed in the loft that'll make you feel like you're sleeping on a cloud. And downstairs, we've got a full-size article sleeper sofa that'll make you feel like you're sleeping on, well, a sleeper sofa. Just don't fight over who gets which one, or do. It might make a good story for later. Did I write that? That's funny. Okay, so I wrote, we'll let you draw straws to decide who is sleeping where, ha. This says, just don't fight over who gets which one or do, it might make for a good story. That's cute. That's cute, computer. Our kitchen has everything you need to whip up a gourmet meal or just pretend like you're going to. And if you're feeling lazy, we won't judge you if you order takeout from one of the many amazing local restaurants. After dinner, settle in for a movie on our flat screen TV. All right, we've got all the streaming services that you need for a cozy night in. And don't worry, we've got all the essentials covered too, from towels and soap to oxygen, you know, for breathing, <laughs> we've got you covered. Hold on, did I write that? Am I funny? Oh, I did, okay, okay. Okay, so my joke is, you'll have access to small yet important things like an, an iron, blow dryer, towel, soaps, napkins, oxygen, and more. And then here it says, from towels and soap to oxygen, in, in parentheses, you know, for breathing, we've got you covered. That's funny, see, that's punching up my own joke and I actually like that. Seriously, our casita is perfect, you might never wanna leave, we've had guests ask if they can move in permanently, no, really, please don't. All right, all right, those are just a few highlights from the punched up copy. Honestly, some pretty funny, some pretty cute little jokes in there. I like it. So it may not completely replace you being able to write your listing description yet, but it can at least enhance it or give you ideas for punching it up. And that's where you really have to start thinking about how to use these services to better your listings, your overall brand, and your business in general. All right, so there was one more thing. I felt it would be appropriate for me to actually ask ChatGPT how I could use AI to enhance my short-term rental business, and here's what it said. It actually gave me seven really, really good ideas, ranging from your typical automations like messaging to dynamic pricing, but the seventh one was actually really interesting. Let me read it to you. Sentiment analysis and guest feedback management. AI can analyze guest feedback and reviews to provide insights into guest satisfaction levels, identify areas for improvement, and automatically respond to guest reviews. That exists, but the other stuff was like really interesting. This can help you address guest concerns in real time and maintain high satisfaction levels. We're gonna get back to that in a second, but I wanna say the most important thing that I uncovered in all of my research was the very last thing that ChatGPT said. It's important to note that while AI can automate various aspects of your short-term rental business, it may not completely replace human involvement. Personalized guest experiences, handling complex situations, and providing exceptional hospitality often require human touch. It's crucial to strike the right balance between automation and personalized service to ensure guest satisfaction. It's like the AI knows that it's not its job to run your business. You still have to run your business like a human being, but AI is here to help you. I just thought that was super interesting. Oh, thank God. I, I'm so sorry. Now, I got really interested about number seven, and I said, for number seven, is there a service that already does this, the whole, uh, review audit that basically helps you pinpoint weaknesses in your business. And it said, yeah, there are several. So it pulled up four different services, Review Trackers, Trust You, Review Pro, Revenate, and I would never have found that in my own research. It was just because I asked AI to do it. I'll read you number one, Review Trackers, and they all pretty much sound the same, but it's really interesting, all right? So Review Trackers is a reputation management platform that uses AI-powered sentiment analysis to analyze guest reviews and feedback from various online review sites. It provides insight into guest sentiments, identifies trends, 
and it helps you respond to guest reviews efficiently. Now, does this specifically apply to short-term rentals? I'm not sure, I haven't actually done the research, but you can start to see that maybe pretty soon that will be on the horizon as the next up and coming AI service that's provided to short-term rental operators. So all to say, if you want ideas for how to incorporate AI services and platforms into your short-term rental business, all you have to do is ask ChatGPT. <laughs> Not some random artificial rendering of the YouTuber you believe to be Rob Built. 